So it's usually exciting when we can look up and see a show in the sky. The question is, will it be clear enough to see the show? I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. If you're anywhere in Portland, Vancouver, up and down the Willamette Valley, but if you're at the coast, it's going to be a little bit tougher to catch the gorgeous meteor shower. We're expecting to peak tonight and again tomorrow night. One thing that will definitely be clear, aside from the weather here over Portland, will be the fact that we have a full moon today. You'll see it tonight is the sturgeon moon for the month of August. Okay, well, isn't that interesting? Look, they're cleaning the lens, guys. Well, finally, oh. finally, finally. Oh, could it be Rick Brown? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Whenever. Yeah, yeah, you know what's great about some of these cameras? They actually have windshield wipers, and that's fantastic if it has recently rained, but if it's just a bunch of muck and guck and stuff, that's harder to wipe clean. So thank you for doing that, whoever you are out there in Lincoln City. 63 degrees, and you'll notice it's overcast here, dropping the temperature a good five to eight degrees below what we're seeing right there at Seaside. Seaside now at 67. Look at that. What's happening here? Yeah, the bird's checking it out. The seagull's like, I'm going to tap on this Wilson ball right here. That's his favorite ball. Uh, so there's a big event happening today lasting all the way through sunday it's the seaside beach volleyball event temperatures tomorrow check it out morning temperatures with some clouds upper 50s by noon you're at about 64 for the afternoon we'll get up close to about 68 or 69 tomorrow seaside ocean temperature is 62 degrees uv index for tomorrow will be at five always lather up with the spf air quality right now is in the good category out towards Central Oregon, you're moderate. Down towards Medford, California border, you're in the moderate category. Here's your planner for tomorrow. For Portland, waking up to partly cloudy skies. Temps in the low 60s. By the afternoon, we're up to about 75. And then the high for tomorrow, right around 6 o'clock, will be close to 80 degrees. Wind out of the southwest. So if you're spending time at the coast, whether that's Cannon Beach or Manzanita, Pretty good conditions overall, other than some morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, upper 60s, low 70s, overnight temps in the mid 50s. And if you're doing uh, some time there in the gorge, looking good, Hood River 82 for a high. That's on Saturday, Sunday, a little bit warmer though, upper 80s, Central Oregon, upper 80s to low 90s, sunshine and clear skies in the morning. So enjoy all those lovely temperatures because that's going away. Another heat wave, yeah, number four for the season. So possibilities, Wednesday could be the hottest day. There's that ridge, and it's not just over us. It's over the western half of the United States. Temperatures at 90 degrees plus, maybe lasting four to six days. And out of that, a couple of those days, we could get up to 100. If you have plans for the following weekend, that would be on the 20th and the 21st. Maybe there's a wedding or whatnot happening. Just be ready for things to be a little bit on the warm side. Hey, checking out the Clark County Fair. That's tomorrow night for your planner. Temperatures will be in the mid to low 70s for you going into that sunset hour, upper 60s. There's your seven day forecast. So again, yeah, enjoy these temperatures in the 80s because it just gets hot. Monday, we're up to 90. Tuesday, 96. Possibly 100 or 99 on Wednesday. Thursday, we're still in the mid to upper 90s, and that could go all the way through Friday of next week. Point 6 News, we'll be right back.